Hello everyone, welcome back, Severed is here, coming back with part 6 of What if Deku Eat the Smoke Devil Fruit. Now where we last left off, Izuku has meet up with a, a new challenger has got into the game to say the least. Someone that was able to, of course, hit Izuku with the staff that actually couldn't pass through his intangible ability when he turned into smoke. As in the end, that guy just told him that he have some sort of a, an old technique that his grandfather taught to his father and taught him. And it's been, you know, from generation to generation from so much time. And in the end, he saw Izuku abilities and his intangibility and start remembering some stories that his father were telling him. So, he told Izuku as he has got the, his power from some, the devil himself. Those things that been, you know, made by the devil or something like that, or as he said, the devil fruits. As in the end, Izuku hearing what he said, he, you know, just uh, shake it off, and in the end, the guy just run away. After that, Izuku going back into the agency after healing his arms because they broke in the fight, meeting with, of course, Hawks, telling him what's happened with him, with him after leaving the agency in the night, and blah blah blah, going to swim in the pool. In the end being realizing that he start to sink, Hawk saving him and knowing that this is a new weak point of him, in the end gone back to sleep. And let's make a time skip. After Izuku you know, finally waking up in the morning, after 10 months, he didn't sleep for 10 months, that's stupid, but you know, just waking from the bed. And right now in, they, in these 10 months, Izuku and Hawks were training and also Hawks kept an eye on Izuku to make sure that he doesn't leave the agency in any possible way. After that, Izuku, you know, tried sometimes to just run away and search for, of course, Black Mask, but nothing, you know, was helping him. In the end, he got, you know, he got into UA by, of course, from a, an, a wor some words of Nick, the CEO of the Public Safety Commission agency that Izuku right now sitting in. In the end, right now we cut into the first day in UA, Izuku looks seeing, of course, the giant building of UA in front of him as he said, well, this is UA, I really didn't expect that I was gonna end up right here in this kind of way. And after that, Izuku hearing, you know, feeling someone behind of him as he turned around and after that, just turn his head a around a little bit, not turning his whole body as he see only Bakugo putting his hands in his pocket just looking at him as Izuku just looking at him and after that Baku said how is your life Deku as Izuku said not very much I'm just still didn't get over it as you know of course Baku said my mother tried to contact you from a long time but you didn't answer any of her phones she just want to tell you that she's sad about what's happened to your mother. As Izuku said, don't remind me by that, Bakugo, and leave me alone. Don't think that I, just because my mother have died, and I'm still here in UA, that means that I still doesn't fucking hate you. I hate you of all my heart. As Izuku turned around and after that his body start to smoke, which making Bakugo quite intrigued, you know, intrigued and quite scared as Bakugo seeing Izuku start walking closer to him and he Izuku just walking closer and closer seeing I still remember the day that you pushed me off the stairs I still remember the day that you told me to kill myself I still remember the day that you explode my face all of those days and all these memories I still remember them but you know what Bakugo I forgive you for the past you know why because there will no be there will be no future for you so i hope that you are training so well because from now on the only thing that you will gonna see in your way is not your way to be the number one hero but i'll make sure that you will gonna be falling in the deepest darkest most scariest parts in this world your way will be covered with with mist you will not be able to see the light of day again in the middle of my smoke back go so I hope that you doesn't mind the smell of the mind the smell of the smoke because you will gonna smell a lot of it in the next couple of days in our life in UA so 
enjoy your self-explosion head while you losing all what once was in your hand your ego your powers and your number one spot all of them will be taken by none other than me so i hope that you have a good first day in ua and after that izuku suddenly the body stops smoking and turning you know again still walking into ua while bakugo still standing there quite scared saying to himself Whatever was that thing that was in Deku. I knew that he will get change after his mother death, but this? Tch, like hell he will gonna get the number one spot from me. Tch, what a fucking loser. I'm gonna prove to him that he's nothing that more than just a stupid asshole. Maybe he got himself some fancy smoke abilities, but they are nothing compared to my explosions. And after that, Baku still walking to a keeping a distance from Izuku, while Izuku just leaning his, you know, turning his head a little bit around, just smiling, having a little smirk on his face, as Baku is quite wondering why Izuku is smiling at the first place. And after that, Izuku just opened the door of UA and sit on his desk. And after that, just sitting down, enjoying himself. Bakugo coming in the, into their, of course, the class and everyone just coming in as after that, suddenly, someone inside a sleeping yellow bag stand up as he just standing while he's still in his sleeping bag saying, shut the fuck up, all of you took you nine seconds to shut up, that won't do, now, my name is Shota Aizawa, your homeroom teacher, as he just taken off the, of course, the sleeping bag and Izuku said, so you are a racer head as everyone start looking on Izuku while Izuku is just resting his head on his left hand on the table. Yeah, of course the desk. As I Aizawa said, huh, so you know me, huh? Wait, aren't you the kid that All Might told me talked to me about? As Izuku said, so all All Might told you about me? I really didn't expect that. As after that some students start talking about Izuku saying Mina said, wait, do you know each other? As Aizawa said, not really in person, but... Anyways, all of you, put these sleeping, you know, put these uh, uniforms on. Jimmy uniforms on and meet me outside. As after that, Izuku just taken, you know, taken the, of course, the gym uniform. And immediately just take, go outside of the door. As Baku seeing this, he immediately taken another one and start going after, ba of course, Izuku. As he starts walking behind Izuku while Izuku, you know, just walking. In the end, Izuku right now standing in front of the door of the, of course, the changing room. As immediately, instead of opening it up, he just gone right through the door as Baku said, what the? As he immediately spin and immediately just open the door. As he see Izuku has already changed his uniform. As Baku said, how the hell? As Izuku just closing, of course, his <laughs> closet and walk past Bakugo as he stand up by his side and said, I told you, you will never be able to surpass me anymore. As he continue walking. And after that, Baku just looking down angry and changing his uniform as he gone outside. After that, Izuku just standing outside just actually smoking <laughs> taking a cigar out of his jacket that he hide with him as Aizawa just seeing Izuku smoking he said hey kid you know it's not good for your you know health and also as Izuku said well my but my whole body is made out of smoke see as he just turning his left hand into smoke and Izuku said I'm actually making myself stronger by smoking if you you know just doesn't mind it I will not gonna die from smoke, but the question is, is anybody else will gonna die from it? Yes, that's the answer, as after that Aizawa said, <laughs> All Might told me that you are a nice person, but you seem different, you are not as I expected you to be. Well, I hope that you are not just a talker and more like a hard worker, because I'm not gonna go easy on you, as Izuku said. I didn't expect that in the first place, as Izuku just putting the cigar inside his mouth and class 1A has finally come out. As Mina seeing Izuku, she said, hey, this kid is smoking, as Izuku said, oh, really? As he just turning his left hand into smoke and said, my whole body is made out of smoke, as Mina said, oh, uh, that's, you know, make it make sense, I think, as Izuku said, just please stop. 
and after that Aizawa said all right students stop talking for the first place in uh, the entrance exam Bakugo can I have you here as Baku just come in front of everyone and getting hold of the ball as he looking back at all of the people and just seeing Izuku putting his hands inside his pockets while the cigarette is just in his mouth and guys don't smoke it's not good for your health <laughs> Why am I talking like this? Anyways, as Bakugo just turned around back and throw the ball as hard as he possibly can. In the end, he got 789, of course, you know, meters, as Aizawa said, impressive. Now, for everyone else, come on, come here, as after that, everyone starts throwing the ball one by one, by one until finally it's come the turn of Izuku. As Izuku just holding the ball in his hand while, this, of course, the cigarette has still... In his, in his mouth as after that he just take it out by his left and throw it under his leg and just uh, turn it off as after that Izuku said hmm, all right this will be easy and after that he lifting his hand up and immediately they you know by getting it a little bit backward and pushing it forward throwing the ball but not actually throwing it he kept his you know like uh, like a, a little uh, Covered the ball with a little bit of smoke and start pushing it like uh, in a speed of a cannon. As after that, the ball just going even higher and higher, while the smoke is Yuku just pushing it by more smoke that just he making out of his body. In the end, uh, Izuku has stopped at 799 you know meters why exactly because he just want to make Bakugo frustrated as after that Aizawa said huh impressive as after that Bakugo said damn it he managed to beat me as after that Izuku just uh, immediately just go back and stop by everyone else as Bakugo just looking at him and Izuku knowing that Bakugo looking at him and he's actually happy that he made Bakugo actually quite angry in the end everyone making their other kind of test in the end, Izuku got actually the first place. In the high jump, he's just flying. In the speed, he just start, you know, making like a smoke screen around of him, making uh, the others unable to see in front of them. And he just uh, immediately just turned into smoke and got the other way. In the end, cl the class just ended and Aizawa said, All right, everyone, you done a great job. Well, this is it for the class today. Go back to your homes or whatever. But Midoriya... The principal wants you to talk a little bit, as Izuku said sure thing, and after that, <laughs> immediately, Baku getting hold of Izuku arm, but suddenly, Izuku arm just go right through Bakugo, you know, grip, as Baku looking at his hand and said, what the fuck, as he looking back on Izuku that he just walking away, and he just said in his mind, whatever is happening with him, he's not that stupid Deku, well, if you want to fight, then I'm gonna give it to you, Deku. I'm gonna show you your place. Maybe you defeated me today, but tomorrow will be a different day. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna make you eat that cigar that you keep it in your mouth. As after that, Izuku got into the principal office. As right now he's inside the office and Izuku just crossing his hand, you know, legs together and said, What is it, uh, Principal Nezu? Of course he's not smoking right now. As Principal Nezu said, Well, young Midori, you see. <laughs> I knew what's happened between you and Black Mask. And as one of the, you know, one of the things that Nick told me about, of course, the CEO of the Public Safety Commission, he told me that in your little, you know, contract, you said that you want to know all the information about the new things that Black Mask have done. So I'm gonna give it to you right here. As, of course, of Principal Nezu just giving a file for Izuku about information of Black Mask. As Izuku said, thank you, Principal Nezu. Is that all? As Principal Nezu said, not really. We want you to join us on a tomorrow. After your school, you know, your, your school ended uh, from today. I want you to join us tomorrow for a little bit of attack on a, a hideout of a villain. Because... <clears> hmm. <throat> You've been training a lot with the Nex since the last, you know, couple of months in the Public Safety Commission. And technically, since you are working with them, you are considered as a hero and your use of, and your use of a quirk is not illegal. So, you can help us, as Izuku said, sure thing. If anything will gonna make me go even a little bit closer into Black Mask, I'm happy to help you, as 
Principal Nezu said, thanks. Well, you are gonna go with All Might from now, as Izuku said, hey All Might, it's been a long time. As All Might said, yes young Midoriya, it has been, and I'm so happy to see you here today. Well, go back tomorrow into UA and just do your normal day of school and let's go uh, in the night, alright? As Izuku said, alright, so, uh, well, goodbye, and after that Izuku just go out of the, uh, of course, the, cl the room. And and the, after that, Izuku just walking out of the a few a as after that he hear a sound from behind saying Deku as Izuku stop in his place. As after that, Izuku turned around and seeing Baku in front of him as he said, "What do you want? My time is most is more vi valuable just to, than just wasting it on playing some stupid games with you." As after that, Baku said. As Bakugo said, What the fuck do you mean by that, Deku? There is no such a thing more valuable than me. As Izuku said, Tch, Maybe in your world, but in mine, you are the least valuable person in my eyes. As Bakugo said, Tch, Shut up, I want to fight you, now. As Izuku said, Oh, now? You mean like now now? As Bakugo said, I think that I was so meaning with my words. I said now, as after that Bakugo starts uh, doing some explosion in his hand as Izuku said Well, if you want to fight now, alright, come with me into the, <laughs> you know, into the, uh, do you remember the old, uh, you know, what they call it? The Degova beach, let's go and there and fight if you really want to fight, as Bakugo said alright, and after that, Izuku said good Let's go. And after that, Izuku and Bakugo start walking. Bakugo walking behind Izuku while Izuku is just taking another cigar and start smoke. As Izuku said, "You know, do you have you know do you have a phone, Bakugo?" As Bakugo said, "Why do what do you want?" As Izuku said, "I just want to call someone. Can I do that, please?" As Bakugo just looking at Izuku and Izuku just looking at him a little bit, you know, just le turning his head a little bit back. As Bakugo said. Tch. Fine, whatever. As he just throw him, throw his phone to Izuku. Izuku catching it and said, "Thank you." And after that, they still walking. Izuku calling on a number and said, "Hey, is this the, the ambulance? I would like to, you know, to have one ambulance uh, car into Degova Beach by, you know, the hour like right now. It's 5 a.m. I want it to be at 6 a.m. All right." As after that, the guy said on the other side, "Why do you want a car?" Do, do you have an emergency as Izuku said well not yet there will be someone that will gonna get hurt so much so I just want to make sure that you will be here as soon as possible as the guy on the other side said all right and close the phone as Izuku said here as Bakugo catching the phone and said who did you talk to as Izuku said no one just let's go and after that Izuku finally got into the beach with Bakugo as Izuku taking off, of course, his uh, school uniform and just stay in his, uh, of course, t-shirt or, you know, just, uh, you know, his white t-shirt as Bakugo doing the same and after that Izuku said, well, you are the one that wanted to fight, so you are the one who will gonna begin as after that Izuku just crossing his hand together and keeping the cigar in his mouth and Bakugo immediately fly up in the air and Izuku just raising his head looking whereas Baku just flying and immediately he just going down on Izuka and throwing an explosion and after that a lot of smoke being covered the place and when the smoke clears he, Bakugo tried to look in front of him but he doesn't see anything as he said what the fuck and after that he hears a sound from behind saying hey are you searching for someone as Baku turned around and seeing Izuku, his hands in his pockets and the cigar still in his mouth. As Izuku just taking the cigar out with his left hand and, you know, breathe out some smoke. As Izuku said, alright, I told you to attack, why aren't you attacking me? As after that, he just put it again in his mouth and Baku getting angry going on Izuku. As he starts throwing explosion after an explosion after Izuku. As nothing helping, all his explosions just going right Izuku while Izuku's just looking at the time seeing that the, of course the ambulance girl will, will gonna get into like about 3 minutes as Izuku said alright, it's enough playing around now, the ambulance car will be here soon so, 
it will be really a shame if I just gonna make them go back into the hospital empty handed, right Bakugo? As Bok said, what do you mean by that? As Izuku said, what I mean is this. As Izuku immediately just throw the cigar out of his mouth and running at Bakugo, at Bakugo seeing his speed. Izuku leaving a trail of white smoke behind of him and immediately getting closer into Bakugo as he used his favorite move which is of course rocket punch, immediately turning his elbow into smoke, pushing his hand even further in and giving it extra speed as he punched Bakugo in his face, throwing him away. And after that, in a speed of a, you can say, the air, immediately just to turn his, himself into smoke and immediately move as fast as the air and going behind Bakugo as he raising his leg and turning, you know, the, you know, the, his leg into like some sort of a smoke, at the back of his leg into smoke, so he giving it an extra power and kicking Bakugo in his back, throwing him away. And after that, Bakugo start flying into the opposite direction as Izuku got hold of him by like throwing his left hand forward and turning his whole arm into smoke, covering Bakugo with smoke and hardening the smoke or making the smoke more thicker so he can capture Bakugo. Bakugo start throwing explosion left and right, but nothing helping as Izuku directing him closer and closer and holding him with his left hand as he said, See, you are pathetic, you are weak, you are nothing more than just an explosion head that doesn't know what to do. Face it, Bakugo, you can't defeat me, you can't hit the smoke, I am invisible, I am basically intangible, you can't defeat me. As Bakugo said, I'm gonna not giving up yet, as Izuku said, too bad, because the ambulance car will be here about one minute, so... I'm gonna make sure that you will gonna stay in the hospital for at least three days. And after that, <laughs> immediately, Izuku uh, putting Bakugo back into the ground and covering, still holding him with his left arm as he coming closer and start punching Bakugo with his right arm and also turning his elbow into smoke so he giving it an extra power as he starts punching again and again and again and again and again and in the end covering Bakugo head with smoke as he starts suffocating him while, while Bakugo still suffocating as Izuku said, come on, why, why aren't you doing anything? Come on, do something! Do something, you asshole! Do something! Where is all your power? Where the, that power that you were using on me in the middle school has gone now? Where all that mighty powerful Bakugo Katsuki that was always the most coolest and the most powerful and the most goddess of all times in the school where's that person has gone this is all, always just a mask of you as izuku immediately stopping suffocating bakugo and leaving him getting hold of his left leg and immediately throwing him up in the air and immediately smash him into the opposite direction behind of Izuku as he continues saying you were always acting so mighty and big but look at you now under my legs and I really was always imagining the feeling of you being under my legs as he immediately throw him into the opposite side and after that continues saying I always hated you deep down in my heart I always hated you but I was just so pure to even say the truth I was so blinded by my past with you so blinded by the one that I was friend with before that I didn't even manage to know the one that you turn into in the future as Izuku just throw him up in the air and turning both of his arms into smoke as he giving a strong punch into Bakugo guts making him spit some blood out of his mouth as Bakugo start falling from the sky and immediately fall in front of Izuku on the sand as he right now in front of Izuku and Izuku continues saying but now look at me my mother has gone and I gain an ability and I wish that I didn't gain it if it would gonna mean that my mother will gonna stay alive. The reason for her death is me, because of this power. I couldn't save her because of this power. But look at me now, using it like nothing happened and I really feel sick of myself. But the most thing that I'm really sick about it is looking into your eyes. Every time that I look into your eyes I just see my old self. I just see that beautiful so pure smile of mine see this old eyes that were glowing with joy and happiness but 
at the same time seeing my now self, seeing the person that I'm right now in, this face that was n with no expression and these eyes that doesn't even shine with anything, and this body that been just turned into nothing but air, it's really, really kinda different for me, but I'm not gonna just make that stop me, I'm gonna become the greatest, the best, the most powerful person in this world, and I'm gonna throw this in your face Bakugo, and you will gonna watch me while I am rise, while you are still stuck in the, m in the mist that I just made for you, and after that, Finally, the ambulance car, Izuku start healing the ambulance, of course, sound just from a little bit away as Izuku said, well, looks like the ambulance has finally come, see you around, Bakugo, as Izuku suddenly just disappear after turning into smoke, and Baku just losing his consciousness. The ambulance seeing Bakugo on the beach, immediately getting hold of him and putting him inside the car, taking him into, him into the hospital, while Izuku has gone back onto, of course, the agency. And this I'm gonna leave it off, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below, tell me what you think about this part, and what do you think will gonna happen the next part? Well, I have nothing more to say than Severed was here.